Hey, what is up guys? This is Neil and you're watching Android Postmodern. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to successfully host a website from your Android phone using your phone as a web server. So, let's begin. First of all, I thank you guys for the huge support you showed in my some last videos. I really felt encouraged that my works are helping you, is providing value to you and it means a lot to me. And I'm gonna make so many amazing videos on mods, unusual apps and Android tips and tricks. So if you haven't subscribed yet, then do subscribe down there and don't forget to press that bell icon below. Okay, let's get back to today's topic. Websites are basically HTML pages or .html files which you serve through a web server. You access these files by a web address or link or URL. How to design a web page? That's your job to learn. I had made some basic HTML videos earlier so you can check that out if you want on that i button. And there are other countless videos on YouTube on advanced HTML you can check that out. In this video I will give you a detailed process that how to access a .html file stored in your phone memory through a web address worldwide. The most interesting thing is you can even access access your whole phone storage or a particular folder through just a web address worldwide. So let's go to my Android device. First download Hacker's Keyboard and Tarmax from Play Store, links will be given in the description. Now open Hacker's Keyboard and tap on Enable Keyboard. Scroll down and turn on Hacker's Keyboard. Now go to default input method and change it to hacker's keyboard. And you are done with your first step. Then open Tarmux. For first time if you are opening it then it will take a bit time to install its resources. Type cd space double dot then tap on enter. Then type tarmux hyphen setup hyphen storage and press enter. and allow storage access to Tarmux. Type cd space home and press enter. Clear the screen by the comment clear. Your next job is to install python in Tarmax. So for that type pkg install python. Do you want to continue? Yes. So type y and press enter. It will take a bit time to install so you have to wait for it. And it's done. Now go to chrome and type www.ngrok.com and go. Tap on the sandwich button on the right upper corner of the website and you will get a button to sign up. Now sign up for ngrock by entering your name, email and password. Then you will get a button download for Linux ARM. Tap on that and a zip file will be downloaded. Once it's downloaded, go to rename option by tapping on the three dot button and copy the full name of the file. Now again go to that same three dot button and tap on share and share this file with Tarmax app. Tap on open folder, type unzip and paste the file name what you just copied and press enter. Now go to that same ngdoc web page and you will get an auth token there. Copy the full auth token. I'll put a link below for this huge command. You can copy paste this command to your phone from that link. Replace this bold auth token part by the auth token you just copied. Now open Solid Explorer, also you can use any smart file manager. Now you have to choose a particular file or folder what you want to serve through your server. For now let's choose the folder AC Market. I want to serve the folder AC Market through my server. Enter your desired folder and 
copy the file path. Now go to that same command and replace the file or folder URL portion by the file path you just copied. Then just copy the whole thing and paste it here in Tarmax and press enter. And immediately it will show the session status as reconnecting. Immediately go to your device settings and turn on Wi-Fi hotspot. Just wait some seconds and soon you will see your server is online. See you already got the URL to access your server through internet from anywhere of the world. Now just copy it. Go to Chrome, paste this URL and go. And your server is perfectly running. All the file we are seeing here is actually stored in the AC Market folder in my device. We are just accessing them through internet. So yeah, you can remotely access to any file through internet by this working server. Hope you liked the video and hope it was helpful to you. And if it is, then do share the video with your friends. You can also check out my other popular videos. Link will be given in the description. And if you want to download cool mod unlocked applications, then do join my telegram channel. Channel's name is the same, Android Postmodern. Stay curious, stay safe, stay high. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.